Hey, it's Bear Danix here. We're just going to actually create a open VPN server today and you can use this for any uh, personal use at home or you can use this to actually uh, install it on a VPN that's over uh, overseas or anything else like that. For this instance, we're going to actually use India as an example. I'm actually in the US. So this will be a lot different uh, for like Netflix or YouTube, depending on what you're actually looking to have access to. And I'm just going to call this India-VPN. Uh, add my password here. Then add my SSH keys. Then create that. And now we're just going to wait for it to finish setting up and then we can actually SSH right in. Copy that over. Now we can just accept this. All right, now we're in. Now I'm just going to update and upgrade this system. Make sure that all our repos are up to date. Now I'm going to add a new user. This is not necessary for you to do, but if you'd like to, you can follow along with me. Just change Baradenix for whatever user that you would like. Add in my password here. Be typing my password. And then after that, you just hit enter. Um, unless you want to put your uh, full name, that's fine too. Hit enter the rest of the way through. Now I'm going to add it to the pseudoers group. It's going to be wheel if you're on Arch or if you're on uh, Red Hat Distros. Now I'm just going to switch right into that user. CD so I can go to my home directory. Now uh, we're going to just install curl. It should be already be installed at least on this system here. Now we're ju just going to curl this from GitHub. This is going to be in the description. You can do the same exact thing, that command. Now we're just going to change the permissions of that f uh, file we pulled down or that script we pulled down. And now we can actually run that script. Dot forward slash openvpn dash install dot sh. And now we do need to be sudo. I messed that up. There you go. Now I'm going to just keep this as my IP right here. You can make this a domain name. Keep the defaults. You can keep the defaults pretty much through all this. It's going to work perfectly fine. It's just your port number. I'm just going to keep that UDP. Yep. Now, I'm going to pick uh, Open DNS, but the default is fine. All right, now I'm just gonna wait for that to install. Put our client name in right here. This can be anything that you want it to be. It's just gonna be whatever you put in here and then dot OVPN. So I'm just gonna keep it consistent, call it India. And there we go. Now it's actually gonna be in the same directory that you actually ran that script at. And this is actually what you need to connect to your OpenVPN. Now, you can SCP this over. Uh, I prefer to do it this way because I don't like having random servers have access to my computers. So I just copy that over. Now that I'm on my host system, just make a new document right here. Now we're just going to name this the same thing as what the host, uh, what the server has right now, which would be india.ovpn. Go ahead and save that after we paste that in. 
Oh, that was all that information that was inside of there. Yep, right there. <clears throat> now we're just going to change the name real quick. Get rid of that dot txt. Now, I might ask you if you want to actually give that permission to do that. And there you go. Now, I do have the client already installed, but it's a pretty straightforward install. Hit the plus down here. Hit the file, browse, and just click on in, or, uh, .ovpn file. Connect, and then we're connected. That's all there is to it. Now, you can, anytime you're using the internet, it's going to be going through that, uh, that VPN. So, let's just go ahead and look up YouTube right here. And there you go. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys ended up enjoying this video. And if you guys have any recommendations on videos to do in the future, let me know. And peace.